Throughout the month of March, the library is planning a number of very special activities just for teens. It all surrounds the American Library Association's Teen Tech Week, which is scheduled for March 8th through 15th. And the library programs are being planned by the library's Teen Services Committee, chaired by Michelle Frost, who's with us today. Michelle, thanks for joining us. I mentioned ALA Teen Tech Week is March 8th through 15th, mm -hmm. but the library programs take place all through the month. Tell us about those. Right, so we take all month because we have several offerings. We're going mm -hmm. to be doing some things like 3D printing and some fan fiction writing workshops. So okay. we have some things lined up at all locations. Fanfic, as mm -hmm. it's called. Tell us what fan fiction is all about. So fan fiction is where you take a popular story and you rewrite a story with those characters. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the Teen Services Committee, a special arm of the library composed of library mm -hmm. workers, but you also have volunteers and a teen advisory committee. Mm -hmm. Tell us about what all you're trying to accomplish with these uh, groups. So basically the Teen Services Committee plans these big events like Teen Read Week and Teen Tech Week for the system. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to just engage teens in the community and, and uh, be a part of their lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are teens kind of a lost population group? Uh, we, we do a lot of programming for preschoolers and youngsters and then a lot of programming for mm -hmm. adults. Teens kind of get wedged in the middle there, don't they? They do a little bit, but I think they're still around and we do a lot of programming for them and we're doing things like creating some advisory boards so we can get their input to see what kind of services they would like to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're sitting in an area here at the Southport mm -hmm. branch, which is Michelle's home branch. Mm -hmm. It's called the Teen Scene and of course we're here before school lets out, so right. it's not real <laughs> active now, but typically um, how popular does the library become any branch mm -hmm. once school lets out? and teens know that this is really a good safe haven for them. We have a lot of kids that come after school. Uh, a lot of them come to use the computers, do some homework. I see teens in here browsing quite a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The library has recently approved a new strategic plan right. for the next five years. Mm -hmm. And I know teens are a real integral part of the plan. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what are we trying to focus on with teens? What kinds of programming is being prescribed for teens? Well, I think we're focusing a little bit on, you know, extending their education outside of school and making it fun, um, offering them some things to um, broaden their technology um, mm -hmm. knowledge and things like that. And thus Teen Tech Week, right. because most of the programs are tech oriented. You've got right. an LED lighting project, right. uh, 3D printing, Google Glass is right. another mm -hmm. project. Is this the kind of programming that teens are naturally attracted to? Well, I think teens are attracted to technology, definitely, so I think they'll enjoy it a lot. What about reaching teens in this day and age, communicating with them and letting them know mm -hmm. about things that are taking place at the library? I guess that's where social media really comes in strongly. Right, we have a blog and we have Twitter and Facebook and Tumblr, so we do have methods of reaching out to teens and we hope that they'll connect with us at mm -hmm. those lo you know, locations online so that way they can keep up to date with what we're doing for right. them and with them. Mm -hmm. Is it important to, I guess, allow teens to feel like the library is, is their home, that they, as long as they have access to the library, that mm -hmm. they can kind of structure their own programs and use the library for their own likes and purposes. I think so. I think it's, it's good for them to know what we have to offer and, and know, you know, we have ebooks, we have audio books, we have streaming movies, we have music, you know, that they can download for free. So, I mean, it's everything they could want, but they don't have to pay for it. And again, the types of programming uh, during Teen Tech Week, and this is taking place all through March, mm -hmm. not just March 8th through 15th, uh, but you mentioned the LED lighting project and the Google Glass, right. the 3D printing. Mm -hmm. uh, these sound fascinating mm -hmm. even to a non-teen. Yeah, they, they really are. Plus, we're going to have Sandra Mitchell. She's a popular author who's going to be doing the fan fiction workshops. And I know at Central there's going to be some extra raffles and giveaways, so there'll be a lot of things going on. Oh, good. And mm -hmm. we, yes, we did forget to mention that's March 14th at Central Library. What all will be happening on that special day? That's kind of a kickoff day. So. Right. Pretty much all the events are going to be happening at Central as well as other locations, but that will be all in one afternoon. So that will be a lot of fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Michelle Frost with the Library's Teen Services Committee. And uh, if teens want to get involved in, say, the advisory group or volunteer, mm -hmm. how do they go about doing so? 
Uh, probably the best way for them to get involved would be to contact the library. Um, they can, they're certainly welcome to contact me. I do have an advisory board here at Southport. Contact their local branches where they normally visit and talk to them about it. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Michelle Frost, uh, Chair of the Teen Services Committee. You can also check the library's website at NEPL.org and all the social media outlets right. now that we have at the library to get your teams involved.